Hi everyone, my name is Eleanor Hales and I'm a second year PhD student at the Quadrant Institute and my research focuses on uh, the genomic epidemiology of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19 in Norfolk, um, the county where Quadrant is based throughout the pandemic, with the overall aims to investigate the lineage diversity and variant concern presence over time. So during the pandemic, the COVID-19 Genomics UK Consortium established national sequencing capacity of SARS-CoV-2, and this provided a wealth of data for both real-time analysis and now retrospective research like this. So from the public COG UK dataset, we isolated 29,406 SARS-CoV-2 sequences and associated metadata entries from Norfolk-based COVID-19 samples, and then lineage type them using Pangolin, and also variant concern type them using Scorpio, both on the command line. We then used R for further analysis and completed graphics in GTplot2. So in the data set, there were 401 global SARS-CoV-2 lineages present in Norfolk. However, these displayed a skewed distribution regarding their over number, uh, overall number of appearances, with 280 out of 401 lineages appearing more than once, and then 125 appearing more than 10 times. So this displays a heterogenic population, with 2 to 37 lineages then co-occurring each week throughout the pandemic. To focus on the lineages that appeared the most in the region and therefore had the biggest impact on public health, we created a focused data set to include the 42 most frequently appearing lineages. The lineage emergence, presence and extinction uh, across the study period is displayed proportionately in figure 3a in the bottom right for the focused data set, highlighting the diversity of SARS-CoV-2 in the region and shows how SARS-CoV-2 evolved throughout the pandemic, with lineages present for differing amounts of time and in different proportions. Figure 3b, just below, shows the variant concern presence in the region, plotted by the variant concern designation assigned to each lineage present in figure 3a, with the pre-VOP label given to those that appeared before designation of variant concerns began with the alpha variant in May 2021. From this, it's clear that four waves were present in the region, pre-VOP, alpha, delta and omicron. And both the number of lineages falling under each variant concern designation and the lineage diversity within each wave increased. However, there were few lineages that dominated each wave with B1177, B117, AY.4 and BA.2 being the most commonly appearing lineages in each retrospective wave in the region. I'll be presenting this work Tuesday at the Microbiology Society Annual Conference 2024, where I'm happy to take any questions and talk about the work further. Thank you.